All right, so I'm gonna share, sorry about that. I'm gonna share a really quick, um, try to share a really quick video tutorial on how I take some of the images and the layouts that I make with my project, with the Project Life app, and I open them up in Photoshop via Dropbox, and I print them out using my selfie. Um, this is the, the, the best way that I have found so far. I, I'm still experimenting with, with getting to being able to do this from my phone, but it's a long process and it's just quicker for me to do it here. And I never get the prints that I, it never, it's never as centered as it is when I do it this way. So I'm going to show you guys really quick. So I already have this white document that I mentioned above. It's 4.07 by 6.17 inches and it's 300 DPI. And it's, I need to, you want to convert it into a layer. I forgot to do that. Now, what you want to do with it, with your, any, any pages you um, open up in Photoshop, first of all, I've already converted this to a layer. You definitely want to make sure that's done. And then you want to adjust the image size because depending on where you save your images from, um, they might be the right resolution, they might not. But I always make sure mine is at 300. And then this page is a six by eight, so I want to make sure that it's six by eight. Now, the next thing you do, the next thing you do is you, you just want to select the white. And then you want to select the inverse and create a new layer via cut. Oh, it didn't select the inverse. Select inverse. Now, now what the heck? Okay, it did nothing. Okay, I'm going to select this again and select inverse. Okay, now we get the inverse selected. Now you just want to go in there and create a new layer via cut. So over here you will have your little photos. Sorry if it doesn't adjust quick enough. You'll have your photos and your white layer. Now what you want to do is go down to your white layer and use the magic wand tool and that's what I used before. I forgot to mention that. And then you just tap on the photos because it's actually selecting that blank space or the space within the white. So for a four by six, these six are gonna print on there or will print on a four by six. So then you go back up here and select this and then you wanna do another layer via cut. So now you will have, now you will have this layer and this layer. Now essentially, um, you could probably leave this layer alone, but I usually do another cut layer. I usually do every layer. I cut every layer and there's a reason that I do that. But, um, so now I have this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here and select my move tool, which is right there. And then I take this and I move it over onto this layer. Now there's a special way to do this. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to do this. And I apologize for the reflection of my fan above, but so you take it over onto this layer. And while you do that, you want to hold down the shift key, which is what I just did. And what that does is it places that document right smack dab in the center. And that's what we want. So, that's exactly what we want. You don't have to resize it. You don't have to do anything. You just come over here and you merge, you merge your visible images. And then now you have your, your, you're ready to print from your selfie. First, you want to come over here to file print, print, print. And then it'll open up your dialogs. Now dialog box. Now I want to make sure that my selfie is chosen so you can see my settings that I always have. Make sure it, let's see if it'll focus. Let's see, it's having a hard time. Okay, there we go. So you wanna make sure borderless is chosen. I know it sounds crazy, but you want borderless. There's a reason behind this. So you want borderless to be chosen, center image. Now there's two here, but this is the first one and we don't want that one. So you just select and click remove image. Now you have your four by six. I'm going to show you guys, go into more options. And this is the important, the, another important part. Make sure it says scale to fit media. You definitely want to have that chosen. Um, as for your printer preferences or your color management, that's totally up to you. So basically, and then you just hit, go ahead and hit print. Make sure your selfie is connected. 
and I just had the photos here. This is what they will look like. Sorry, my desk is quite messy. I have a lot of stuff going on. But I really wanted to share this with you guys. Come over here where there's no glare. There's never, there's always a glare. But you can see how it printed. Um, now I actually printed out both of these as a four by six, mainly because I really like using my selfie. I like the way the pictures look. And you can see how the borders are. Like it's pretty much a perfect border. Now I've tried doing this with my phone. Um, you can, you can come up with a way to do this with your phone, but it's, it's a lot, it's a process. Um, it is a process and I can never, this is one I printed with my phone and you'll notice how, even though it was centered using the app that I was using, um, it's still bigger on one side than it is on the other. And there isn't as much of a border like it's a it's a lot less and I actually like this I mean I do not mind this this is perfectly fine for me and this actually goes in my December daily album but that is how you do it and I hope that somebody out there will find this useful and you might get more use out of your selfie and you might get maybe caught up on your December daily so you can also do the same thing with a regular printer I'm assuming I don't print for with my Epson because I don't print with my Epson because it um, eats too way too much ink so um, happy scrapping and I hope this helps somebody and maybe you'll stop by and watch some of my other videos uh, when I when I finally figure out how to print from my phone um, I'll you'll be the first one to know so thanks for watching